I'm standing at the site of the former sodium reactor experiment facility. In July 1959, there was an accident at the facility. Some believe that it was the worst nuclear accident in U.S. history. Others believe it to be much more benign. In 2009, DOE commissioned a report that revealed that many community members are still very concerned with the July 1959 accident. To this end, DOE conducted a workshop in August of 2009 that allowed us to gain better understanding of the events that occurred immediately prior to, during, and after the accident. The SRE was located at the Santa Susana Field Laboratory on a hilltop between the Simi and San Fernando Valleys of Southern California. The U.S. Department of Energy has responsibility for one part of the field laboratory on which the nuclear reactor research was conducted. Scientists who worked on the project during the late 1950s and early 1960s analyzed data collected as part of the SRE operations and concluded that the barriers designed into the reactor facility prevented widespread release of most harmful radionuclides. However, most recent analysis of the data resulted in a different conclusion on what could have been released. In response to these concerns, DOE hosted a workshop on August 29, 2009, designed to explore the diverse expert and community perspectives on what occurred during and as a result of this event. The workshop began with presentations from three independent experts, Dr. Paul Picard of Sandia National Laboratories, Dr. Thomas Cochran of the Natural Resources Defense Council, and Dr. Richard Denning of Ohio State University. Over 185 workshop participants then had the opportunity to ask questions of these experts. Finally, community members had an opportunity to provide their own perspectives on what occurred. The workshop revealed that the highly trained experts agree on certain details of the accident. The video made during the workshop also captures their perspectives. At the end of the workshop, several of the community stakeholders observed that it is time to move on with the cleanup. We agree and will honor that request. DOE remains committed to researching and documenting events in Area 4 of SSFL that could have led to environmental contamination. Even if we cannot completely uncover all of the relevant facts about historical operations at SSFL, DOE is confident that the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency will detect evidence of any radiological contamination that remains today. In compliance with the National Environmental Policy Act, the EIS will consider a range of alternative approaches to cleaning up whatever radiological contamination the EPA finds during its investigation. DOE is grateful to the work of the three independent experts who accepted the invitation to present their views on what happened during the SRE accident. Thank you for watching this video. If you have questions or comments about it or the SRE accident, please feel free to click on the Contact Us link on the website. Thank you.